boom, there you have it. You got your data down out of the API. It's in a pretty data frame and it's ready to use. I mean, look at that chart, it's great. Finance family, it's your other brother Adam Get Bags. I'm back. We're gonna be looking up how to get stock data out of the TD Ameritrade API. So put your seatbelts on, open up your Google browser, pop in TDA API. It's gonna bring up everything you need here. We got our documentation by Alex Golek. Here's his GitHub. And then of course we're gonna to need to create that developer account at TD Ameritrade to get in there. Okay. Um, shout out Alex created this library, really good documentation here. Got a ton of stuff there. So pop open his uh, GitHub. Um, go down to his README. Um, you can install the library with your pip install, pretty easy. So just pop that into your command line. Um, so copy this code right here off the front of his README. You can go ahead and paste that into your environment. If you need a pip install, um, TDA API, um, get that done. All right, first thing we wanna do off the jump is get our API key from TD Ameritrade. So open your browser back up and then pop over here to your TD Ameritrade API. You can register first name, last name, username, email, click the box, get it going, create your account, and then go ahead and log in. All right, once you get all logged in, you can click over here to my apps. It'll open this menu here, and you can add a new app. So let's create an app, give it a name, and then for our callback URL, we'll use localhost here. Give it a brief description you'll make a minute and go ahead and create the app okay that'll populate now we have our new test app we're ready to grab our api key so if you click there it'll open up a menu that has your consumer key you want to copy that and then you want to go ahead and paste it into this section here leaving the at the you know leave that in there over into a new file and while you're here we want to create a new file that's going to store our token if you leave it as a string here it'll create a new python file in your working directory so this is supposed to be a path that's used in the call here or in this uh in this command but we're going to just create this file here it's going to store the token inside of a folder they say that it allows you to not authenticate for 90 days or so and then for our uri here we're going to use local post all right shout out part-time larry of course go check him out he's dropped a ton of knowledge over here and of course as we see here they're using selenium so be sure to pip install selenium as you're going if you watched my crypto bot video I show you how to set up uh, Selenium and then also get the web driver, Chrome web driver, Chrome driver into your path file. Um, so if you're in, if you're in uh, Anaconda here, go to tools and you can find where your path variables are and you can just drop the latest version uh, that matches with your Google Chrome driver into there and it'll be good to go. So we want to edit. So we're going to import our secrets file because we're very secretive. And then what we want to do is just make sure that we're referring properly to those. I'm going to give it a spin. I've already installed the necessary um, packages. So we made sure, obviously, that our token was secrets file and we'll give it a go here um, so it brings up the chrome driver uh, brings up the chrome driver window here and now we just have to sign in using our credentials for our TD Ameritrade account not for the developer account and then once you've authenticated here it gives you the token file and you don't have to worry about re-upping your your token and credentials all right so as we see here we have a JSON readout of our data so it looks like we have the candle data here. Open high, low, close volume and date here, as well as our symbol. Um, so to see all of your 
JSON like headings. You can just do uh, for i in r dot JSON. Then you can print print i. That'll show your headings. And then we know that candles is the the nested. business looks like we got our data frame it's looking really clean here we want to turn this date time column into actual date looks like we got the date successfully converted into actually a date and the date time column is in some type of like microseconds or nanoscopic time interval so I'm just multiplying by a million here reformatting it and then taking the uh, seconds off the back of that um, that looks good so create this date into our index here and then we'll just plot a quick chart and everything should be good boom there you have it you got your data down out of the api it's in a pretty data frame and it's ready to use i mean look at that chart it's great all right that just about does it. i think you're gonna have most of the problems getting the setup but once you get the setup you can run just like thousands of tickers through it no problem i mean it's built for the bulk so Let's get straight to it. All right, everybody, make sure you get your uh, pip install Selenium Chrome drivers in the right place and you pip install TDA API. You'll be good to go. All right, fam, let's get these bags.